two minutes for for the examination. Indeed, you have served me from an erupting volcano uh, uh, with uh, with the, the government said had. That is a gentleman. Uh, when uh, when attempting to create a harmonia, um, that is a gentleman. I salute you, the adjudicator and the entire house at large. As the resolution of today says that when attempting to create a harmonia society, this house believes that gender is a more important factor than class or income. Indeed, the mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be kindled. Flat I so it. I stand as a strong affirmer to kind of on today's resolution. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Allow me to begin with the roots to the fruits of the resolution. To begin with the Hamonia Society as a pitcher in the resolution. Uh, it is a friendly and peaceful group of people who live in the same country or area and have same laws, traditions, among others. Ladies and gentlemen in the house, looking at gender as a major factor for our affirming. It refers to the fact of being male or female, uh, when considered with the reference to social and cultural differences, not differences in biology. Ladies and gentlemen, looking at class as another key term in the resolution, it refers to the uh, it refers to the one of the groups of people in a society with the same social and economic position or the system of dividing people into this group. For example, a working class. Ladies and gentlemen, looking at at income as the last key term in the resolution, it refers to the money earned by working, investing, or producing goods. Ladies and gentlemen in the house, when they are attempting to create a harmonious society, we the farmers stand up to improve the gender equality in Africa in the creation of, 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 of this society. Setting parameters in Africa, when they are attempting to, uh, to improve gender equality in Africa, where gender equality is the fundamental development objective and is essential to enable women and men to participate equally in a, in a society and, uh, and in the economy. Ladies and gentlemen, open inequalities in, our, in gender will increase the risk of the act of violence, which is, uh, which is not a harmonious society, by men against women. For instance, the traditional belief that uh, men have a right to control over women, which makes uh, women vulnerable to physical, uh, to physical and emotional by men. Ladies and gentlemen, I talk about uh, gender-based violence. I'm talking about the violence involving men and women in which the female is usually the victim, which is derived from unequal power relationships between men and women. Ladies and gentlemen, looking at the promotion of gender equality to prevent violence against women, the, uh, the author who testifies that the promotion of gender equality is a critical part of violence, uh, of, uh, of violence prevention. Ladies and gentlemen, by this we are going to pass through the community interventions that can empower women and engage with men. These are, going, uh, these are effective in change of individuals, in change of individuals and the entire society. By addressing the gender norms and attitudes, they can include the methods of empowering women economically and to enlist men as partners against gender-based violence. Ladies and gentlemen, this is creating a harmonious society. Ladies and gentlemen, furthermore, we are going to pass through the school-based interventions. These are going to address the gender norms and attitudes before the, uh, these people in schools are uh, uh, not uh, become, uh, 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 become before they come deeply ingrained into, uh, into you, then is a nation. Such initiatives address gender norms that invite uh, that violence and sexual abuse among the teenagers, as it was the uh, as it is the case of the positive results in the United States uh, of America. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to pass through the programs that must engage males and females. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this is the this is some of the evidence that my How does your body actually has to be effective? Effective, what? Effective, 
block of um, according to the according to the significant process that has been made in closing gender gaps in the sub-Saharan Africa by 2008. There were 19, 91 girls for every 100 boys in primary schools, up from 85 girls in 1998. And at 60 uh, and at 61%, women in the sub-Saharan Africa have one of the highest labor highest labor force participation in the right here. Okay, we're going to like 
get more jobs. Okay, we're going to like give these people money. We're going to trans um, give the money back to these poor people. Hence, what they're going to make it better. I rest my case by saying that solving social class inequality is actually the best way to solve the problem in this debate and to make a harmonious society. Thank you very much. Venerable, you came on and told us about the motion. But are you aware that the motion was fully stating gender in it? Or you're just coming in to give us your thoughts? First of all, you had to come and explain to us what gender is. Basically, basing on what you had to solve of gender, which is gender inequality. You had to come and tell us how you're going to solve the representation. You talked about class that you should not be considered that do you know that most jobs in Uganda are given according to class? Please note my stand in this debate today. No way did I say that class should not be considered. I clearly stated that I stand for class. I stand for class and income equality. Please you stand for class, today. but do you know that most jobs in Uganda are, are like, they leave out the poor people and they go on to give them. That's the why we want to solve class. How the fact that if we solve class, class we cannot give you very many models of solving class. What we gave you, we're going to how it is creating a harmonious in harmonious way income is to create like income creating a harmonious society but when I go, how will it help the poor that are not getting satisfied don't you think they will come on board and start rioting clearly i told you a harmonious society looks like equal representation of everyone be it class it is be it poor be it rich no. be it middle class basically here yeah, we solve everything on that level but we need to give money class how do you tell that those higher class are going in to rest your case thank you very much mm -hmm. did us think did us think and talk about the solutions we rise followers think and talk about the problems i salute the adjudicators plus the house at night when attempting to create a more harmonious society this house believes that gender is a more important factor than class or income same i'm going to for mogadishu the government said, indeed actions are the real, indeed actions are the real measures of intelligence. How can someone really negate such emotion when you're like really born? As well, as well, every genius is about to be naive. With the emotion being well explained and well elaborated by the first by the first fellow from the government said, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this ladies and gentlemen, this profession, with this motion, we're having what we call fragility and conflicts which affect women, boys and girls differently. It is widely acknowledged that fragility affects the most vulnerable groups in the society. There is a young women with vulnerable groups in the society. We're talking about the women. Women are taken to be are taken to be among the vulnerable groups. This is evidence in the Holy Quran. Surah Nisa. Quran Surah Nisa verse 4 to 34. It says that it says it says that men are common in relationship to women according to what God has favored. Some some some, some offer to others are according to what they spend from their wealth. Righteous women are cunning at guarding the unseen according to what God has guarded. These, when we're talking about those women who you choose their, who, who you choose you, who you choose you, those women who you choose you, uh, admonish them and abandon them in bed and strike, and strike them. If they obey you, do not pressure, do not pressure a soldier against them. Indeed, exa indeed exalted bread. That, that that is the bus that shows that that shows that that shows that shows that women are among the vulnerable groups and it is from the holy quran the holy book ladies and gentlemen let's ladies and gentlemen let's ladies and gentlemen this ladies and gentlemen this fragility causes an applause of days of desertification within the female population with this this can cause conflicts of violence in the society where women may be active Participants in the violence as combatants or indirectly or indirectly by facilitating violence through fundraising or through violence or inciting their male relatives. What is it like their male relatives to commit acts of violence? Reducing women to reduce which reduces women to passive victims whereby 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 framing of human rights standards, framing of human rights standards, treating and definitions have been conducted predominantly. It is a gentleman by and through the minds of the male lawyers. Of the male lawyers, they have set in the in, they have set in this indispensable conditions of human, human, human rights principles and norms that have gained purchase 
of going for just in the international political and policy lexicon. Although the application remains as although the application remains as remains a work in progress, nevertheless, inroads have been made in the field of development and human rights. There are qualities and gentlemen. It's there are qualities and gentlemen. It is gender but not class or income. Ladies and gentlemen. It is class, not it is class. I really wonder the, the I really wonder the way the first negator from the negation side came in here without recognizing the presence of the, 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 the without recognizing the presence of the regular speaker. Thank you very much. If we are to solve gender inequality, please tell us how we to solve this gender inequality given the fact that if you were to solve gender inequality, please tell us how your model or how your side of the house is going to come and solve this gender inequality. What we get from your case is basically you tell us you're going to solve it, but you do not tell us how you're going to solve it, and we need that from you. With, with my friends, I talked about the fragility. Well, I talked about the fragility. I talked about the fragility that causes an after of death. How are you going to solve that fragility? Please tell us. How am I going to solve that fragility? You do not, like if you do not have anything about solving that fragility, you will have to How are you going to solve it? Moving on, second. In this motion, we are clearly looking at a harmonious society. How does only focusing on women make a harmonious society or well, leave out the male gender? Please speak up. No, I didn't leave out the male gender. But then it's not why you didn't include the male gender in your case. Women, I'm using women as the best because How does a harmonious society look like? A harmonious society, a peaceful society. A peaceful, a peaceful society, society including what? Including. Without gender, without, without, no, I mean, a peaceful society for equality among the gender. But then women, that is women are the women are most are the most are the uh, women are mostly taken as the vulnerable groups whereby they are not being put in the because because women being the most vulnerable, vulnerable groups, does it mean that you have to deteriorate the way you treat men? Does it mean that you have to kill the men? Are you talking about that that the men? This is talking about the motion is like the motion the motion is like when objective to create a harmonious society. This must believe that gender is a more than that class or Class, right? We have 
different people who have even in this upper class they could be men and women, middle and then even lower, we could have even men and women. How best do we achieve this? Firstly, when we distribute resources, we increase the taxes of the rich and distribute them to the lower class using the government. What is the impact of this? Firstly, taxes from the upper class, when we distribute these resources, it will be invested in these poor people that are mainly oppression. These are the people that are mainly complaining. We don't have school, we don't have education, and they are here having beef with rich people because they feel that they are basically getting everything. When we distribute these resources, we give these rich poor people a chance to education, right? We basically empower them. We basically even health facilities. Basically, we achieve some sort of harmony. Why then is this important? When we give poor people things like education, when funds are, are, are redistributed to people who have, to people who don't have, we feel that then we empower these poor people. That is to say, we get more people going to school, right? We get more women or men going to school. Why, is this, why, why then is this important? We feel that these people are going to grow up and go and actually try to fight for their rights. Now they will actually have some knowledge. So they will even some of them will go into power. And the fact that they will go into power, it will be easier for them to influence those that oppress them. What does this look like? When these poor people go and then uh, be part of the people that make policies, we feel that a more, a more harmonious society is going to be achieved. And also, a more harmonious society looks like everyone being equal. That is to say, the rich and the poor, basically everyone, even if equality is not achieved to like, the maximum level, outside of the house, at least bridges the gap. Outside of the house, benefits the poor women, the poor men, even the middle class. Okay. Even the middle class. Hello, why do we win this event? Number one, we give you, we attain a better mode of a more harmonious society. Second, we cater for all the stakeholders in this event, not only one side. Proud to oppose. Okay. Is that is a gentleman. That is a gentleman. Uh, I wonder how the first negator came and talked about the male gender in her presentation to my uh, to my farmer. That is a gentleman. I'd like to ask the negator is she negating or affirming the resolution? That is a gentleman in the August House. Uh, the negator uh, um, with the farmers are talking about the uh, the gender uh, promotion of gender equality, which uh, which the negator is talking about. Uh, uh, Kim Kardashian. 
merchant has helped out and the, has the whole country going out from her? Has it? Has it? Then you came on and told us, talking of class, you're, you're busy talking of class, yet even people in class, they are supposed to be gender balanced. Do you know? It is the class you're talking about is basically best with men and women. Yes, if they are not harmonized, nothing will work out. Yes, you know that. Yes, we are having right now, as with the government, you're seeing as the post of the vice president right now in Uganda, for instance, is a female. You're seeing how things are going to change. You talked about men are being left out in this motion. No, we are not leaving men out. But at a point, men are more considered than women. That's why we have come on board to fight for the women, not basically men. Because when you go in most offices, the big offices, men are the ones seated on top there. If it was equal that both men and women are seated on top there, it would be equal and balanced. And then we, should, we would have a harmonious society. But then you're coming here, you're telling us to consider male, yet the male are already considered. They're already fighting for it. If male were not considered, why, why, why is it when you go in offices, higher offices, they tell you when you're a lady, they first ask for sexual, like, sexual intercourse. If it wasn't that point, if we go on and create gender equality, this would not be there. Women and men will be up there and they will help both women at both sides and the men at another side. But then you're coming here, fronting men, yet you're a lady. Do you really have a patriotic heart? Do you? Then, will you go on giving resources up to the last people? For instance, in Uganda, will you go on giving resources to those people up to Katanga? Yes, if it was the case, why isn't the government going in to give these people those society? But if, with the government, we are actually planning to go, not even planning, we have already started sensitizing people about gender equality, because it's going to help them a lot, and it will work more effective when men and female are holding hands together. They will be able to promote everyone in a certain way or in a certain sector, when they are both working together. Instead of only saying men should be there up, not women. Come on, we are fighting for both women and men, but because men are already up there, we want to hold women so that we be as people gender. If that was the case, no. Like, talking of the upper, thank you, the right honorable speaker, I um, we have one minute to talk, sorry. Start by section 3, 2, 1. Panel, the side that wins this debate, the side that benefits the society at large, i.e. the society that helps the most number of people. Team negative not only helps the largest number of people, but the most vulnerable groups of people in society, i.e. the women. First of all, some rebuttal, but then two major points of clashing this debate. One, the rebuttal. We hear from type of position that, oh, if we could give everybody resources according to our model, why hasn't it actually happened yet? We have two responses. One, majority of people are actually unaware of their rights because of income inequality, i.e. the poor people do not even know what they deserve in their side of the house. But then also two, we think this is actually possible. Look at examples like the Arab Spring Revolution whereby this was successful, whereby people actually stood up because of income inequality and actually solved the problem at the end of the day. Two major questions to disagree. One, where is harmony actually visible? But then also two, on which grounds is inequality? First, where is our harmony actually visible? What did they tell us? Oh, on their side of the house, they're going to pass education in schools. Three things. One, they give us no model as to how this is actually possible, given they already set their parameters in a conservative society, i.e. Africa. Majority of people who just come and sister them about gender inequality in are going to become defensive and they won't even listen to you at the end of the day. But then there's two. We say that on their side of the house, they have a further narrative to pursue. I.e. on our side of the house, majority of people actually relate to income inequality, i.e. they are poor, they do not receive food, poverty is like majority of people on our side of the house actually relate to poverty compared to, in, compared to gender inequality on their side of the house. So ours is actually easier to achieve at the end of the day. But also three. We see that the root of stereotypes are culture in society and they thought to do. By the time that they actually thought to actually identify the problem in this debate, they are already fallen. What is on our side of the house? Why do we say harmony is actually physical on our side of the house? Why? We already give you how we're going to break the class system from our class two speakers, i.e. increasing tax based on bridge, redistribution of wealth between individuals, passing policies that actually pursue justice for all. Two ways how we actually solve how we actually solve the problem in this debate. One, we say that we also solve gender inequality at the end of the day, something they try to pursue. Why? Why? Because one, women are also affected by class or income inequality as well. I.e., women are also poor, women also do not receive as much income at the end of the day. So when asking about when we actually solve income inequality, we also have the majority of people at the end of the day because we also help women on the bottom ground, on the bottom ground who also face these problems too. Those are two. 
we tell you that you get political representation which actually solves the problem. I.e. when you solve income, when you solve income inequality and actually give people in the budget around education, they are better able to get political representation, i.e. go to parliament, and they are better able to actually pass policies whereby gender inequality does not happen. On our side, if we give you a model, we actually show you how this is feasible, they give us time, they call us with this debate. But also, second question, on which drugs inequality actually works? We tell you that on our side, we actually solve inequality, income inequality as well as gender inequality at the end of the day. They are us, they give us no model, that thing is a debate feasible, they call us. also, too, we tell you a little of the greater good progresses now, right? in the sense that income inequality affects both men and women. I am better depending on both men and women at the end of the day. This debate is about society at large. By the time we already help both men and women who are in the society, we are already doing. Matters on their side of the by feminist women have already affected the status of the majority of the women. My past we had, my sisters we have talked about how the women like Kim Kardashian have already like in that affected status. Whereby on our side of the both men and women both identify as poor people. On our side of the we already solved like Income, we saw we have a vast majority of people in the society by actually pursuing by actually pursuing income equality as well as gender equality at the end of the day. But also three, for them to actually achieve gender equality, which they go to address, they actually need money at the end of the day. I need to pass programs for sensitization, for feminist movement demonstrations, they need the money, they give us no money at the end of the day. But also three, let's first analyze how they are holding debate, how they are holding cases. They give us no money. Why is this problematic? One, we find it hard to believe that they'll actually achieve their goal at the end of the day, i.e. they're fighting for something that isn't even possible. But then also, two, they give us no rebuttals to the obstacles, my past and second speaker give you, that actually affect their dream which doesn't happen at the end of the day. But also, three, they give us assertion without analysis that do not tell you this By the time they give us assertion without analysis and do not actually show how their model actually gets pursued in the real, realistic world, they already pull out. Team negative shows you how we benefit the greater good progress in the society. We actually give you a model as to how ours is plausible and we take down everything they give us. At the end of the day, kind of negative was already what is today. Thank you. And thank you very much for that final debate. Create a more harmonious society. This house believes that gender is a more important factor, more important factor than class or income, right? And so this debate required you to show us which one is more important. That uh, while wh wh if you're saying that gender is more important. Um, you, you do not under, underestimate the fact that others are important, but you're showing which one is more important. Yeah. But well, this debate was on income inequality and class or income versus gender. This is the direction that you took. But the most important thing here is which one creates a more harmonious society. And so I expected all teams to give me a picture of how a harmonious society will look like and how you're going to achieve this harmonious society. Uh, well, let me go to the first speaker. She gave these initials and she, she defined a harmonious society, I'm paraphrasing, as friend, a friendly and peaceful group of people who live you know, in society without the biases and all those things. Um, but I really did not find a lot of analysis on the side of the water motion from the affirmative team. You defined the terms but you did not show how these, these definitions are important to the debate. What was your uh, harmonious society do, like, looking like? And how are you going to create that harmonious society? Well, you gave us uh, ways you're going to do it. For example, um, you're going to, uh, to, to, to carry on community initiatives and school-based initiatives. Yeah. But if you remember, and, and, and there's some misguided, did you give us a status quo? They did not give us a status quo. And so it is problematic that you're giving us a policy you're going to do, but you're not acknowledging the status quo. So the negative team comes and tells us that all your interventions of creating a harmonious society already exist in the status quo. And no, no person from this team came to show that really these things do not exist in the status quo, or we are going to do them a different way. And so what let me just summarize here. So these people were arguing that they are going to, to empower women majorly, um, that their school-based initiatives and what are going to go and erase stereotypes about women. So these people told you that these initiatives already exist in the status quo, that they happen. So your, your plan is not going to deliver because they have already failed. But the negative team 
came and gave you, the, I'll call it the cycle of how their plan is going to work. That when you redistribute resources, money, that you need money for these initiatives, you're going to, you're going to increase the tax base of the rich people or, you know, of the classes, and then get this money and put it into social services. Social services like education. I think you're seeing the cycle. That when you put it into education, even the poor people are going to be empowered. The marginalized and vulnerable in society are going to be empowered. That after them being empowered by education, they'll have the chance to go into political positions whereby they'll be able to influence policies that create a harmonious, a, a harmonious society. And so after giving you all that, I feel we feel that the negative team did better. And thank you very much. Please go to the Can I just uh, give you a bit of feedback? I feel like each of you needs to organize your, not only yourself, but your teammates. You know, in terms of strategy, it counts one word. You know, so it doesn't make sense for your last speaker to come and introduce new points. They don't, they don't add anything to the debate, you know. So it's best to, and also when you're speaking, you don't get carried away by so many terms and what. Let your ideas flow and make sense. Because while they're in your head, they might make sense to you, but you're here to present them so they can make sense to other people, right? So try and be a bit calmer and organize your, your points. That goes to all of you. So, yeah, that would be my advice. Yeah, maybe lastly, uh, affirmative team, um, please do not, you're coming to argue. And in your next rounds, do not come and prepare, you know, prepare to speak to them. They distract you so much. And then during course examination, those are general rules, you do not have to go with your paper now. Course examination questions should be closed ended. It is not a must that they have to be yes or no. That is like a value they should have. But so even if someone comes and asks long-ended questions here, you should not go away. But strive to have them close-ended. It happens this side also. Close-ended questions, yes or no. Yeah, I think you, they help you cover so much. And you, and you shouldn't give speeches in that time. Like, it's a question. Not, you're, you're not advancing your <coughs> Ask a question, let the other person answer. And please be brief when answering those questions. Otherwise, you both, you both stand for each other. Thank you so much.